This is the second uh, VRF um, lab. Uh, this carrier network has two customers, the red customer and the blue customer. It also has one shared uh, services network that includes a DNS server that all customers should be able to use. So this DNS server will live in its own VRF as well as each of these servers. So let's go to action item number one, create the, the three VRFs and assign interfaces according to the diagram. So we have two customers here and a shared network. So let's uh, go to the router and um, we don't currently have a VRF, so we're going to create them. VRF definition, the red one, route distinguisher one, one, address family IP4, uh, the blue customer, the route distinguisher of two, uh, address family IP4, and, and the shared uh, services. And the row thing which are of three uh, column three so we have three three brfs and we're going to assign the interfaces yeah with one two and three okay one is for red okay interface here with one brf forwarding red with an ip address and the one fourth down okay two forwarding blue customer blue and ip address down and interface here is three forwarding services IP address now shut down so if we can see now we have uh, three three VRFs with the respective interfaces and the routes are in, should be in place so it will route your red blue and green so uh i'm oh, sorry <laughs> services and uh, what now we need to um make sure that server one reaches dns it shouldn't uh, do it now But uh, they should be uh, able to reach their respective uh, the four gateways. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to export. Uh, routes between them so what we're, what we're going to do is we're going to enter into this brf then into address family ip4 and we're going to uh, execute our route target for this uh, this command will let uh, this brf export its routes and uh, it, this, this um, and BRF will Im import the routes coming from the red BRF and the blue BRF. Okay, so we are going to do almost the same here. Let's go to BRF red and uh, other summary. This will be exporting its own route, dis route distinguisher. And it will import the red distinguisher that belongs to uh, uh, services, which is uh, 33. 
and let's go to the blue vrf and family or this will export its own uh, route extinguisher and it will import the route extinguisher that belongs to services so the configuration ends up like this for the blue it is exporting its own route distinguisher and importing the services route distinguisher. The red VRF is exporting its own route distinguisher and importing the services route distinguisher, whereas the services VRF is, is exporting its own route distinguisher, but it is importing the route distinguisher that belongs to the red and blue customers. So, um, if we check the routing tables, nothing has happened. Nothing has happened. So, uh, what we have to do is to enable our um, friendly protocol, which is BGP, in its uh, BRF Lite uh, version. So, let's enable BGP that is our friend. BGP router ID, uh, maybe 1111, and let's configure the BRF uh, light part of it. Address family, um, IPv4, BRF, red. Notice this. This is the support of BGP to BRF light. Uh, redistribute connected blue redistribute connected um, services redistribute connected so now we're injecting the routes into BGP let's see the BGP rib so I BGP B, B, BPM before all Mm, I, I, there is. Uh, so we have these routes coming from uh, the red uh, customer. Uh, this route is coming from the blue customer. And this is the route coming from the services customer. Now, given we already did the import and export, we're already seeing how they are uh, being imported and exported. So that must be reflected in the routing tables. So now the red customer is able to see this BGP route that belongs to the DNS server. And the blue customer is able to see this BGP route that belongs to the DNS server. And the DNS server uh, BRF can see the uh, red prefix coming from BGP and the blue prefix coming from BGP as well. So now they should be able to ping uh, the DNS server. Great, so the configuration ends up like this. This is the uh, importing and exporting part. And this is the BGP part. Notice that you are creating uh, one address family per BRF. And the DNS server should be able to ping both servers. Oh. Okay, that's it.